Good morning and welcome. It's Jill and Cube here today to do a video. Um, I just wanted to show you my little stash that I have been sent of these catalyst catalyst wedges. I'm obviously not going to use them all today in the pour, but these are the different profiles that you can get, and I think there's probably a lot more too. They're just the different profiles, so I'll probably try two of them. This one, the, the flat edge one, is more for when you're smoothing out paint. I suppose you can do um, certain shapes in your art with this too, but I like this to spread paint out, or when you're doing you know, more of a um, palette knife sort of look, but with the catalyst wedge, if you, you get my drift, so... These are uh, some of the ones that I have at the moment. So I'm going to give a couple of them a try. I'm not sure which ones yet. So I'll just put them aside and, um, and give, my, um, pay, uh, give my canvas some colour. Gosh, I'm losing it. Forgetting what I was going to say. Oh, my goodness. Must be getting old. All righty. I'm just going to cover my base with some white paint. So this is just ordinary, uh, my global acrylic impasto paint. It's not house paint. I know lots of people say, oh, what house paint are you using? No, um, I, I've only ever used house paint. I think when I'm, I'm sort of doing the, the bloom technique or if I've got some leftover, I'll use it, you know, from um, house painting or something, but it's not my preferred paint to use in my art anyway so there you go that's just given that a coat so i have tested the catalyst wedges before and i find that if i go uh, really sort of lightly with them it actually gives a you know muddies up your paint you've really got to you know do what they intended and try and well i'll show you as we go along if it's too complicated trying to explain it Okie doke, so I am going to um, put some colours made up here and I might sort of do two separate colour areas. So I've got the purple. This is just made up with my normal pouring medium. And this is the lilac, lilac, that's it. So just a, a lighter version of that one. And I'm going to, in the mix, put some cool red. So, and then I'll put some cool red over here. And I'm going to go my dark sea. And I'm going to go some, it's called Tahiti. They're global colours. Beautiful paints. I love them. Um... And then I might even put a little bit more red on there. And then I will cover with some white. The same here. Remember, I'm just testing this out to see if I can get anything real nice out of it. So I'll just give it a whiz over with my heat gun. So it's kind of style is, is poured in puddles. So just puddle pouring. Now I'm gonna use my small but mighty uh, little mini blow dryer. So I'm gonna put it on low to start with. Wow, look at that. It's got no flow trial, no flow trial and no silicon. And look at those results. Pretty nice, hey? Oh, that's so pretty. That has got absolutely no flow troll, no silicon, nothing. All that is in that particular paint and the mix is my acrylic paints. And today, for a change, because I was sent this bottle of PBA craft glue, 
I decided to try the craft glue at a 70-30 mix. So I, I put 70% glue in the bottle, then added 30% warm water. And I, oh my gosh, I have to take a photograph of that and show my... Um, Capriol Chevy Chic sent me that glue to try. And look at the results. It has got absolutely no Floetrol, no silicon, nothing except just mixed in my normal way. And I have to bring you down to see those cells. Just let me bring you down. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness, there's absolutely no effort in that to get this kind of lacing. No Australian Floetrol whatsoever. No silicone. Just those two mixed my normal way that I would mix my clear glue at 70-30, that one. Wears as trousers. And now, look at that, wow. Now I don't even wanna use my catalyst wedge, but I'm going to. That's awesome. That is awesome results without even <laughs> trying. No fancy dangle recipe with this or that. All global paints, everything. The base, everything. So that is pretty shocking. I'm wondering though, did I put in my white base? I know it's global paint mixed my normal way, but I'm wondering if I put Floetrol in the white base, so it might only be, I might have to try it without the white base. But anyway, on with the show. Rightio. Wow. Well, I'm thinking now that I maybe have definitely when i made up my white i did it with my normal pouring medium and i added flow troll to the white but there was no flow troll added to the other paints so it just be interesting what kind of results i can get if i don't add flow troll it might it must be the flow troll in the base coat that has done this i would presume so okay which one shall i go with Shall I try? I'll try this little teeth. So like I said, I've done it lightly before and I didn't get really good results. So I'm just gonna try and touch it on the bottom. Oh, look, oops, look at that. Oh, yay, yay. I know it's a shame to lose those lovely cells, but I was trying to do my catalyst wedge so the catalyst wedge definitely adds a whole different element to your art so even if you just done one um, swipe with the catalyst wedge just to add some interest and some flow I think who's made uh, the catalyst wedge popular again because it's always been in art for years and years is a guy called Zaw Z-A-W Zaw or S-A-W, not sure. Um, somebody let me know if they know the correct pronunciation. So I'll try this other one, see what I get with this. Wow, wow, wow. Pretty cool. Too cool for school. Let's just try it down here. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that's two. Okay, I might try the third with the like teeth. Where you sort of go through with the catalyst wedge, the paint does fall back in to cover your canvas, so it's kind of no worry. That one, yeah, it sort of gives a whole different effect. That's still quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so that's the third. Let's go the fourth. Maybe I will try them all. So this is like your bigger teeth. That really takes a lot of the paint off, as you see. But because the white is underneath, it's, it's a whole different ideas to go with with these particular wedges. So, yeah, that definitely takes a lot more paint off. 
but it still leaves a nice effect. Rightio, the last one with the, just want to clean, clean them as you go, even though I'll put them in some soapy water in a container when I've finished. But it's obviously easy. This is like the teeth, but smaller teeth. So I'm going to leave some of my lacy on, on here. Wow. Yeah, look at the effect. I mean, I could go all through it doing this, but I would prefer... I mean, wonder what it looked like going on a spinner after that. Don't want to put it on a spinner at this particular one, but I think I will try it in the future. But yeah, the catalyst wedge definitely adds a whole different element to your work. And obviously, if you get a bit that you don't like in there, you just go over with your catalyst wedge. I could, yeah, do the whole lot with the wedges and get rid of these lacy areas, but I'm actually really liking them. So I think they're going to stay. So there you go. Five different, one, two, three, four, five. Five different, I did try all five of them. So um, there's my gecko saying he approves. So there you go. The colours in that are absolutely beautiful. Maybe if I put that on a spinner, definitely, and spun it out, it would look a whole different thing again so oh maybe i need to do that next but i haven't got my spinner set up so i will give that a go on another video but tell me what what do you think of the catalyst wedge and anybody got any other ideas that i could use the catalyst wedge for have they have you used it for any particular um technique if so let you know let me know because I'm here to share and um, I'm absolutely um, loving to hear if anybody else has got any ideas. So my lovelies, please take care of yourselves. Feeling sad, lonely or a bit depressed, please ring a friend, family member or a helpline. Do not suffer alone um, because you're no good to anybody if you're not well yourself. So it's uh, number one first. You have to have to look after yourself to, to be able to help anyone else until tomorrow please join me if you haven't hit the subscription button please hit the subscribe it costs you absolutely nothing but it helps me so thank you and uh, please join me again tomorrow bye for now